<laughs> Alright guys, I want to quickly start this video by talking about today's sponsor of the video, which is Vincero Watches right here. I'll open up this case in just a minute and show you guys what their custom watches look like. If at any point in this video, I will talk about more in detail about the watches later on in the video. I'll talk about more about the watch later on in the video if you want to stay on the lookout for that. The link to their website is down below in the description for their sick, sick watches that you really can't beat the price. They're really, really affordable watches with a really classy look. So like I said, the link is down below in the description if you want to check them out and we'll continue into this video. What's up guys? So today we're just hanging out at the house. I'm doing stuff. Um, I'm just cleaning the truck, got some stuff done to that. I gotta work on the bikes here soon. Um, I'm gonna take off my throttle. It's sticking a little bit, so I'm gonna take that off and um, put some, get all the dirt and stuff out of the throttle tube. Maybe it'll uh, work a little bit better. So I'm gonna work on that. Gotta work on the pit bike, I think. Might rip that around in a little bit. Hook on the GoPro. Possibly don't count on that one, as you guys probably already know. I always forget the GoPro or something will happen with the GoPro. Guarantee it. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna work on the bike. I'm going to uh, wash the truck off right now. Um, it's a little dirty, so I'm just got the power washer out over here, and I'm uh, just power washing it off. Had a little rims and stuff were dirty, whatever. Uh, I just got some window tint. It's just 20% to match the back. I just got that done today, so that looks nice, so people can't like stare at me or whatever. And it's a little bit darker, so I didn't really need anything darker than 20%. Uh, some of my friends were telling me to do like 5%, but it's way too dark. That's like limo tint. There's no need for. You, you, at night time, you can't see anything. If any of you have window tint on your vehicles, you'll know at night you can't see anything at all. Like Joe, you know Joe with that Silverado? He has 5% window tint. And at night, he literally has to roll down his windows. I've been with him like, during the winter time, we're out and about, he's gotta make a corner, he's gotta roll down all the windows so he can see where to go. And I don't, I'm not trying to do that. I don't wanna have to roll down my windows at night to be able to see where I'm going. So 20% is fine for me for right now. And I, I was gonna get that little visor thing in the front windshield. I'm probably gonna have some new stuff coming for the truck build here soon. So if you're new, you should definitely hit the subscribe button if you wanna stay tuned on that and all the moto vlogs and different dirt bike related videos. So while you're at it, you may as well give this video a like. But um, yeah, off that, I'm just gonna get this uh, all power washed, all cleaned up and then we will carry on with the rest of the video and whatever else I'm gonna get into today. What are you doing? Who put these things in your hair? Why do you need two of them? Oh my God. That's crazy, that's what my mom will do to the dog. Also, um, I got a new tire coming in. I'm gonna have to throw that on soon for this weekend because as you can see, it's, it's pretty shot. Like I posted in my last couple videos, I think one of the knobbies ripped off or something. I forget, yeah, one of the knobbies ripped off, so. That's when it's time to throw a new tire on, I think. And I rode it on the road a little bit. As you can see, it, all the edges are rounded off because I didn't really care. So I was just ripping it around the road. But uh, yeah, I gotta get that changed out for this weekend. So it's good to go. Yeah, the front tire is still good to go. Um, I put that on recently, I'm pretty sure. But that I don't really need to change as much, obviously, because it doesn't wear out as quick. And also, if you haven't seen yet, I have the new clap stickers, which are vinyl now. So they're like just the clap logo. If you haven't seen those yet, to click the first link down below in the description for the new ones. It's like a full vinyl um, die cut. I have a bunch of different colors. I have this sick like black holographic. If you have me on Snapchat, like I said, it's just T Monaghan 188. You'll stay up to date on all the new products and stuff like that. But this is what it looks like on the pit bike if I can get around here. The uh, black holographic, it's kind of like an oil slick, like color shift type thing. It's so, so sick. So I got that one, I have red, carbon fiber one, so definitely check it out on the website if you want some custom clap stickers, number plate stickers, and a couple other sweet ones. And on the topic of stickers, I'm just rambling, rambling on today. On the topic of stickers, if you guys want any like other stickers than clap stickers, definitely let me know in the comments what you would want me to make stickers of, because I can pretty much do anything. And uh, yeah, I'm just curious, other than the clap stickers, my number plate stickers, I think I'm gonna do the uh, Moto Dude and a few other stickers in the vinyl, but any requests or cool things you'd want on a sticker, definitely let me know, and uh, I'll try to do that for you guys. All right, now we can finally get into the truck and getting this all washed up. I gotta get my makeshift tripod over here so I can prop the camera up. This thing never lets me down. My, all, my other Joby adjustable tripods always break on me, so this thing's done me well. Good enough, that'll work. You are 
are still sitting here. You haven't moved one bit. All right, so I just finished washing the truck up. Looks like I got my package from uh, Motosport here. Why I ordered just, let's see. Oh, I got another uh, tire spoon because the ones I have suck. And uh, this one's a little bit bigger. It'll give me a little more leverage to uh, put tires on. So we got that good to go. And then I just got a uh, MX32 or whatever they call it now, 3S. And uh, get that put on soon, get it all set to go. Right now I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna package up some of your sticker orders. I gotta get them all printed up right now, get them all picked out and packaged up to ship out tomorrow. So probably be at this for like a good hour, two hours. Getting all these stickers good to go and shipped out for you guys. Here is the uh, holographic when they're not all picked out. Then I just peel this off and all the clap stickers are on there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick that up, but those things are super, super sick. So I just cut through a lot of time of me doing stickers and packaging up all of your orders. So I'm gonna cruise around. I don't, it's kind of late to take out the, uh, the pit bike and bikes right now. And now that my pit bike is uh, super, super loud, I tend to not ride it as much as I would if it was stock. So that's why I kind of wish I had an, um, a stock pit bike that way. You don't gotta worry about bothering the neighbors. I kind of feel bad like riding around the neighborhood and in my lawn at like 8, 8.30 at night when it's still light outside because like I said, it's super, super loud. It's like a 250, not quite as loud, but it's still loud enough where it'd be like really obnoxious. And I just don't wanna do that. So like I said, if I had a stock one, I'd rip it around. But said, like I said, I'm just gonna ride the mountain bike around. I got it in the back of the truck. I got some trails behind the house over there that I can go ride some hill climbs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna hook on the uh, GoPro chesty mount. One bar, we're good. And like that, I'm back. Gotta fill up the tires with some air. And of course, the GoPro was indeed dead, so. So I did change the camera quality to 60 frames per second. If you notice the difference, definitely let me know down in the comments, because it's at 60 frames per second and before it was at 30. All right, I got the clear, not the clear, the open backpack. If any of you have wondered why um, your GoPro audio isn't very good that's probably why you have the waterproof casing on you got to get the one with the openings in the back to uh get the better audio quality so not that gopro i guess the audio is pretty good for gopros for not having an external mic but a little tip for you guys finally and if any of you are wondering i just got a basic uh trek marlin 5 nothing special gets me around have a little fun on it seat up Like CL2 cartridges, big on, oh, hope you guys down. Probably doesn't look too big on GoPro, but it's pretty big, it's pretty big. There's like a drop off right here, you gotta go in the middle. Ooh. Thank you. That was fun. Ew, 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 ew. All right, so I'm wrapping everything up today. I put the bike away. I'm gonna continue this vlog tomorrow and um, fix the bikes up to go ride. All right, guys, it is the next day after um, the previous clips you watched on the mountain bike and stuff. So right now I'm heading to Andrew's house. Um, we're gonna update you on the um, on his 450 that pretty much blew up at Miles Mountain. So he should have that all good to go. I'm gonna um, put my seatbelt on so it doesn't keep beeping. All right, so I just got the Andrews house. He is over here working on the 450. It's all taken apart. All he has to do is get the timing and stuff good to go. And it should be uh, fine to get all buttoned back up and uh, started right up. So he's working on that. Over here, since I was gone for a little bit, the uh, the RM wheel finally broke loose. It's off the uh, off the bike, obviously. Had to cut it all out because all the, all the spokes got loose and then it just shot, so. I think we're gonna give this thing away to uh, a lucky subscriber if you even want it. I guess the rim's still salvageable, and then no, uh, the rim script. Dude, oh, all right, never mind. The rim is uh, mi all right. It's maybe doable, but you got a decent tire left, and you got a free tube. So the way we're gonna, in the, for somebody that doesn't race or whatever, the tire isn't too bad. It's what? All right, so you got a free tire and a tube in there. The, probably a good $30, $40 value. So uh, <laughs> right, so the way we're gonna give this away is you have to follow me on Instagram, it's just at Tyler Monaghan, and you have to follow Andrew on Instagram. So I'll have both the Instagrams on the screen right here, and all you have to do is go comment on my most recent picture on Instagram and say free rim or free tire or whatever that, and then I'll scroll through all the comments, 
and I'll pick somebody from that. So I'm gonna probably a week after this video is posted, I'll pick a winner if you even want it. It's kind of a joke, but I'll message, I'll pick somebody if you want it. You want it, if you don't, you don't. So we'll sign it, whatever you want. We'll send you some, uh, I'll send some free stickers. That's the update on that, the RM. Um, waiting on a rim, and I think he's going to drop off a rim today to get all trued up. He, uh, he bought it off like Motorsport or Rocky Mountain. He got a fresh rim and spokes and tire and everything, so he's getting that good to go. But um, he's trying to get the 450 done, like I said, to ride tomorrow at Area 51, so he's trying to get this done really quick and I get it all started up, make sure everything works good since uh, he did. If you guys watched that last video from Miles Mountain, it pretty much blew up. It was puffing smoke, had zero compression, so we got a new uh, piston ring cylinder, and um, we'll see what happens when he starts it, if it's good to go. Yeah, I'll update you guys when we get back. We're gonna drop off that rim and stuff to get trued up and um, good to go, so when we get back, we'll update you more on that, and uh, see if this thing will start. 5-0 is sitting waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, he is. All right, Andrew just picked up his uh, rear rim for the TTR. Um, pretty decent, it's got the eBay rim. And then, is uh, that eBay? I thought it was the eBay. No. What is it? The Amazon. All right, the Amazon rim here. Um, yeah, Don't be banging. I need a big, it's all trued up, good to go. He's gonna throw that on, get a tire on, he's still waiting. Why are you putting one. a rim on my center <laughs> council? Seriously. That's what I thought you are wanted. Are you stupid? <laughs> We are back seven hours later after dropping off his rim and uh, picking up the uh, TTR one from you. I think I uh, got a clip of the one in the truck. I don't know, it's been so long. But um, yeah, we checked out. Um, I saw this sweet, sweet CR125, the new uh, 2018 concept bike. <laughs> now, you could tell by the video, it's just, uh, I think it was like an, oh, what year was it, Andrew? Like an 07 with the newer style CRF um, front fender and number plate. But um, yeah, we're coming back. Andrew's cracking on with the 450 here. It's like 12 o'clock. He's trying to get it ready for area tomorrow. So uh, he's cutting it close on time. <laughs> he's got to do the timing chain. And um, yeah, hopefully it goes pretty smooth and this thing is running good to go for tomorrow. She might spit, watch out. Well. it? Watch out. Yeah, it's all dropped in. It's, it's, it was dropped in before. Taking a look at the uh, TTR here, all I really did is uh, I painted some of the covers here um, with some uh, blue spray paint. This cover, the brake, the uh, swing arm is black now. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much stock. As probably from the last clip you saw, the hubs are blue and it got black rims for it. So look like a, It'll be a pretty snazzy uh, TTR 50. But new uh, number plate and front fender if you didn't see already. He also got this full Red Bull banner from Unadilla because uh, he obviously went to Unadilla. I couldn't this year because I was on vacation, but he uh, happened to snag this full Red Bull banner, which is sweet. Why aren't those threads in? I didn't see threads on it, only in the back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm... How much? Keep going. Tell me when. Hey, look it up on YouTube, I'm telling you. Solve all your problems. All right, so talking more about these watches here, they are super, super good quality watches that they basically tried to offer you a, a perfect watch at like a lower price, but still competing with the higher quality watches that are on the market right now. We're really tired of like the normal cookie cutter designs, all the designs that everybody already has, and they wanted to offer something that's totally different, and like I said, at a lower price. Along with standing out and being totally different than any of your buddy's watches or any other watches you've ever seen before. The goal, obviously, with these is to make you look a lot nicer a lot classier when you go out whatever and even for me like a simple watch like this like I'll wear it all the time they also sent another one this is their uh, classic model um, with the um, leather brown stitch and kind of like a snake skin and then the white and the rose gold on the inside open up the package on this one here you'll see it is a uh, this is the one I picked out It's the classy black leather strap with the black um, inside and then the uh, rose gold so this one is uh, right down the alley on my style. Perfect, perfect black, nice and soft material. 
And oh yeah, I'm really hyped on this one. Along with just watches, they have like a bunch of sunglasses bracelets. I have this cool like leather bracelet right here with like this cool uh, metal clasp. Like I'm always um, about like bracelets and stuff on my wrist. I always, if you see now, I always have something on my wrist. So this is so sick. As you put one of these watches on, as you can tell, just looking at it, like the super, super good quality. It's so, so comfortable on my wrist. Like I don't even feel like I'm wearing a watch. Like I've had, I've tried on a bunch of different watches before. There's a bug in my ear. I've tried on a bunch of different watches before and they're always so bulky and really like big on my wrist. But this one, as you saw from me uh, driving here, it's not really that big on my wrist. And I obviously have small wrists, so um, a lot of watches, anything bigger than really this doesn't really look right on me. And I never really was into watches because they were always too bulky and they didn't really look cool on me. But these ones, these are so, so sick. Can't go wrong with having like a classy watch that you wear every once in a while just to have a, a good quality watch that's not super expensive. And there's nothing that really can compare to it, honestly, for the quality and price. If you guys wanna check either one of these out, along with their sunglasses and a bunch of different stuff on their website, I'll put the link down below in the description. If you guys wanna check them out, I'd highly recommend it. You just check it out, see what they have to offer, even if you're not interested in a watch. Definitely check out their website and see what they have. Use my code, um, you'll get a percentage off. I'm not really sure yet, but I'll help you out a little bit. And uh, if you put my name in the comments or something like that, but it should all be set up with the link below. And right now we'll get back into the 450 build and uh, getting the thing all situated to right at area tomorrow. So hopefully we can get that good to go and uh, not have any problems with it. But like anything, I was gonna have problems and I'm sure Andrew, I'm not doing anything, I'm just watching, but I'm sure he's gonna run into some issues. He's already having problems getting this thing put back together. Can I get an answer? Okay. Yeah, well not north, obviously. The front of the bike, you know the cam chain, like the cam, you know the <laughs> thing that holds the cam in. Looks like he got another cover here. If you don't know, that's how it's supposed to look, so he just like blasted it. Soda blasted it. Uh, and yeah, I don't really know what he's doing with this, Andrew. To repowder coat it. Oh, you're gonna repowder coat it all black, I'm assuming? Yeah. That spot, you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. But you see that hole, that hole, that hole, and that hole. That has threads, that has threads, and then there's no threads on this side because there was a rod inside of here that was blocking that hole so you couldn't thread it in there. So we're taking this, the camera would focus here. Taking this rod, shifting it, so maybe there's a flat spot that you can bypass that so you can get down into the threads in there. So you'll understand once we get it all together and I can show you a little bit better. Easy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This stands a little tedious, but <laughs> you're gonna tip the bike over. Scatch. I did the sound. What? That sound like you? I don't see a problem with it. You hear that? I think it sounds mint. <laughs> I mean, just wait until you get to area, then crank it up. Like, don't start it at the house. Mm -hmm. Run it up. It's just popping. Yeah, it shouldn't be popping. Uh, let me just call up my mechanic real quick, and then I'll, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. We're gonna wrap the video up here. Um, Andrew's gonna continue this tomorrow because he can't figure out where these uh, screws go in. I, 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 be, whatever. So, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, like the video, share it with your friends, and off of that, we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next Motovlog video.